carried no money bag no sack no sandals and greet no one along the way so when you are sent now here you see shaji and the other team almost they are in the same way i tell you the other way round when we began the apostolate of prayer we strictly followed this principle i was sending two by two people to different adoration centers so i told them you should not have any public relation to other people that is why don't take sandals you should not put your sandals and move around and make any public relation no but one day it happened i sent two boys and one day as soon as he entered in the train he saw a girl who studied in his high school he said hey who where are you going i am going to patna i am also going to patna and they began to talk and talk and talk and talk and whole time they were chatting and chatting and after reaching there we could not get him in prayer he went with that girl <laughs> that is why don't have don't greet anybody means you are going on a mission your mission is important you are not to make public relationship in between your mission see i am traveling so many places i never gone for any sight seeing people say oh you might have seen switzerland you have seen england you have seen i never ever gone for any sight seeing because i have gone for a mission my mission is important i am not going for a picnic or sightseeing or making public relation and in that relationship there we see some product which is very good in this region okay then take a bag and carry this to our home no that is why don't take any sack no take any bag to collect some things no don't take money back you should not have any money god will provide you everything no money back depend fully on the providence fully on the providence you can see wonders happening <laughs> i am remembering in my adoration center in austria i Uh, since i was there that day our team members asked the kitchen uh, department today thomas paul is coming uh, can you buy some eggs for making an egg curry oh, yes 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 but she forgot she forgot to buy that so she came from the market to oh, forgets and forgets and i am sorry i forgot so the indian ladies who were there okay no problem but after some time somebody who came for adoration has brought a complete crate a big box having 100 x <laughs> one day i was sitting in the breakfast table so the sister in charge of the kitchen said brother today no bread there is no bread sorry there is no bread for the breakfast even as she have not finished saying another woman comes through another door no 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 there is bread see i have brought it <laughs> we see such we see such we see every day such wonders 
that is how i am living when i left my job and when i dedicated my life for the lord i asked how will i live how will i care for my family who will give me money he said very simple look at the birds of the sky are you not precious than these birds yes then you will be provided by heavenly father now 33 years over i am living i have no remuneration no stipend i am doing free service but like the he looks after the birds of the sky he look after me so there exist such type of a such type of a way of life such type of a way of life in such type of a way of life we have complete confidence in the lord complete confidence in the lord that is what this spirituality says don't carry carry no money back no sack to collect some things no sandals to move around and make any public relations and greet no one along the way because you are in a mission you have to seek what the lord want what that is it try it is our freedom nobody is forcing you to do this you can try this way and at the same time this is the way israelites in egypt when the tool men children of juda came to egypt they were the stem fathers the head of the fathers of the 12 tribes of israel but how they came to egypt when joseph was joseph came as a slave sold by his own brothers and afterwards when the starvation happened all his brothers who are the 12 tribes heads they came without money back without sandals without a sack with only one dress and begging bowls and the lord god made them so prosperous in egypt afterwards again slavery came okay so now now in this chapter so this is the spirit of evangelization a prayer apostolate is needed it can be for the whole diocese you need a power house for every parish you need a power house for every congregation you need a power house then only it will work now you see at the end of this chapter so jesus sent them two by two all, all the places then what he did he sat in a house and prayed that is in the house of martha and mary down the last of chapter 10 in the last of chapter 10 martha and mary but 38 as they continued their journey he entered a village where a woman whose name was martha welcomed him she had a sister named mary who sat beside the lord at his feet listening to him speak now here we can see one thing is he himself is spearheading a contemplative ministry 
while 72 others two by two was sent he is not going for a picnic he himself is paying so in this house again there is a active apostolate and contemplative apostolate active sisters and contemplative sisters Martha is also working very tirelessly for the Lord cooking and cleaning and everything with so much of worries and complaint she came to Jesus and said Lord don't you see that this my sister is not helping me <laughs> she is sitting here I am alone doing all the work tell her to help me and Jesus said did Jesus said okay you go and help no Jesus said Martha Martha you are worried about anxious and worried about many things very important now can you read that next word there is need of only one thing read everybody louder there is need of only one thing Mary has chosen the better part and it will not be taken away from her that is the contemplative apostolate Mary is sitting in front of at the feet of Jesus and listening listening so through that he is he is empowering the whole world through that one person at least one person if in the chapel in front of the Lord through that one person the omnipotent power of Jesus can channelize to the whole world that is contemplative apostolate now imagine in our situation if one of the sister you have such a passion to see be in the chapel suppose you sit one full day in the chapel what will happen what will happen there will be big bombarding will happen in the house and other sisters will complain to the superior what this sister is simply sitting in the chapel at morning to evening and we are working hard this is not right tell her to come and help us there will be shouting and cry sorry <laughs> sorry this is our situation our chapels are empty there are hospitals morning there is a holy mass in the minimum time father no need of homily and all eh? because we have a lot of activities to do okay okay I have seen in in uh, St. John's hospital like the crown of Indian church I was there once in 19 minutes the mass was over and in another five minutes everything is clear and the chapel is closed even send me also out go where there are more than 600 sisters working a liturgy only 19 minutes like a fast forward film Imagine, most of the hospitals, we don't understand the king, the Lord, he's sitting here. We have to draw power. We are doing everything to serve him. And he himself says, I have come to serve. In Ambigapur, there is a sister Beatrice, Dr. Beatrice. She wrote me once, Thomas Paul, we are having lot of problems here. I don't name their people. You know them. They are troubling us. 
what to do it's difficult to live here i said do you have a chapel in the hospital yes yes is there anybody sitting and pray a little time oh no 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 we have holy mass then we close the chapel okay i send you two girls from my team you will recite them in the hospital give them some food and accommodation they will ten by ten sit in the chapel and adore the lord like mary sitting at the feet of the lord and you tell your sisters nurses at least half an hour turn by turn go and pray and all the bystanders who are in the hospital all those who are standing in front of the operation theater and crying tell them go and cry in the capella in the chapel okay and these two girls i sent they took turn by turn two hours one person so at that time another lady will be sleeping and all the nurses began to take half an hour half an hour and during the intervals half an hour the watchman also half an hour slowly slowly the chapel was full of people <laughs> all the bystanders started coming to the chapel and all the nurses as soon as they come to the work first they go half an hour pray then they go for the work when they go after the work they take half an hour and like that like that within about i think six months time i could withdraw my people even now that 24 hour adoration is going on in the hospital and the uh, sister after three months she called me and said thomas paul this is now become a heaven it is a heaven now all our opposition people have come and pardoned and asked forgiveness they are all now our friends and the hospital become a place of love as soon as the patient comes the nurses and doctors care for them with such love and compassion the doctors immediately understand the sickness he immediately prescribe the right medicine the immediate healing take place all the operations are so successful everything is success imagine it is still going on now maybe more than 20 years in 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 uh of oh, what is that place mst fathers uh, ujjain ujjain in ujjain i had a retreat for the diocese for all the bishop bishop and all the priests and religious and they were so motivated so one of the fathers said i want to start a retreat center here but there are no catholics nothing i said yes start but very soon they were attacked by our opposition people the priest was beaten up sisters were beaten up so they closed down the retreat center and he came to kerala he came straight to my house thomas paul everything is broken they attacked me. they attacked me they beat me and bishop said close down and i said how dare you close down you should have opened the blessed sacrament and prayed the light will shine and the darkness will disappear you left the retreat center in the hands of the dark powers and you came back if you don't mind you please go i will give you two of my boys two of my boys and you father you take your permission from the bishop right now without informing everybody anybody you will secretly 
go inside the house and expose the blessed sacrament and pray day and night my boys will take care day and night you only speak stay as much as possible he was so empowered he said immediately from my home we called the bishop i told him this we must do bishop said yes immediately in the next train this father and the two boys went to ujjain started the adoration our simple principle the light shines now look at this light in front of this light can any darkness have any power it is still going on and nobody came afterwards for any attack very within a couple of months they started retreats and everything it is still continuing in jasuguda when we were those days since i had no time for every diocese four dioceses combined we had a retreat in the holy year 2000 so there are more than 800 sisters and i think 300 priests together four dioceses four bishops and as soon as we went so i was another a big team with me four of them were day and night fasting and praying like shaji and his wife shimi did 40 days fasting and the bishop said thomas paul our problem is the man thara singh is a murderer he killed one of our priests father arul das and the police says this thara singh is absconding we cannot get him he is not traceable but he is he is moving around us threatening our sisters our priest we are absolutely paralyzed can you do something for this yes sure i can't so i prayed when i prayed i got this word luke chapter 18 luke chapter 18 6 says will i not to justice to will i not will i will not god then secure the rights of his chosen one who call out to him day and night luke chapter 18 7 everybody please read will not god then secure the rights of his chosen one who call out to him day and night will he be slow to answer him them i tell you he will see to it that justice is done for them speedily i said bishop this is the message the lord will do justice for you the chosen one of the lord who has given your life for the lord but he says you have to pray day and night oh, we are praying all our convents are praying but how long but night they are not pray they are having every day morning to evening adoration every convent because of this issue i said that is not enough so what happened whole day time you pray and the devil sleeps and when you sleep the devil work all what good thing you did in the day time he spoil in the night time oh sisters are some of them are old some of them are sick i cannot ask them to pray in the night don't worry we will pray i have team members here they will pray day and night till thara singh is arrested <laughs> <laughs> bishops were so much taken up so after the retreat after the retreat they will stay here 
ठीक ठहरा सी सारेट थैंक यू थॉमस पॉल थैंक यू बट वी नेवर थॉट इट विल हैपन सो फास्ट एंड दैट वेरी टाइम द बिशप ऑफ एंड द ब्लस एक्रमेन इन हिज चैपल आवर पीपल बिगैन टू प्रे आई वॉज ऑल्सो प्रेइंग डे एंड नाइट टेकिंग दिस वर्ड ओ लॉर्ड यू सेर इट यू सेर इट will not god then secure the rights of the chosen one who call out to him day and night we are crying out day and night you said it i will i will he will see to it that justice is done speedily please do it and can you believe it can you believe it within 24 hours तारा सिंह गिरफ्तार हो गया आई हैव नेवर सीन ए न्यूज पेपर लाइक दिस द हिंदी न्यूज पेपर द कम्प्लीट फ्रंट पेज विथ बिग रेड कलर लेटेस ओनली दिस मैसेज तारा सिंह गिरफ्तार हो गया बिकॉज पोलिस सी हिम बट दे हैव नो करेज टू अरेस्ट हिम because his people would attack their families but when we began to pray day and night all the dark powers working against us was diffused and the police got courage and boldness to do justice our we have to understand every small word in the bible has a very important message day and night and the lord asked me to start adoration centers more than 100 adoration centers i did not make any propaganda that was forbidden so more than 100 adoration centers we could do in india and then i was taken to europe even the adoration center now in lisieux france cathedral was started by us so many places in europe so europe is having a very good renewal but in the newspaper we will not see all those things I was in Lisieux Cathedral Basilica of Saint Therese a power was drawing me back slowly slowly that power pulled me brought me down in the crypt then I am standing in the cappella the adoration the adoration chapel the lord is there in the in the tabernacle but nobody is there and the lord started speaking to me thomas can you sit here some time can you give me a company i said yes i sat there i thought after one hour he will send me home <laughs> but he did not say he made me to sit the whole day up to evening and then he said can you bring some people of your team here and have a day there it is not possible night adoration because of the security can you give me a company yeah, sure then the lord said when you go out take the right road when you walk 200 meters look up you will find a flat where it is written flat for rent you call that man rent that flat and use that as your accommodation and bring your people and continue so i was so excited i went exactly i went to that road 200 meters i walked looked up there is written flat for rent 
I immediately noted his number. I called him. Is this flat is still available? Yes, yes. So, please come to my office tomorrow morning, nine o'clock. We will fix it up. And morning, nine o'clock, when I went there, I felt this man I saw somewhere. After we talking, he said, these are the terms, 1,000 euro rent, 3,000 euro deposit. You can take the flat. But then he looked at me. I saw you somewhere. Where did I saw? Oh, today morning we were together in the holy mass and you greeted me, peace. Ah, yes, yes. Okay, then you don't need any deposit. We are of Jesus Christ. <laughs> not, no deposit. And after one month, I am going there with my people to start the adoration. When I... When I landed in Paris, some of my friends who came to take me to Lisieux, as this friend, Mr. Jos Parakadavil, he said, Brother, when I came out, a lady gave me a packet and said, If you meet Brother Thomas Paul, please give this. This is that packet. And when I opened that packet, exactly 1,000 euro for one month's rent. And like this it happened, and we happened to have Eucharistic adoration in Lisieux, and then slowly, slowly, in the Lisieux Cathedral, we could start the adoration, and so many such places. So what I want to say is, power of prayer is the fuel for evangelization. Without that, no evangelization is possible. That is why Jesus said, Martha, Martha, you are anxious about many things. What is required is one thing, one thing, one thing. What is that one thing? That is a perpetual adoration. So here it is written, this will not be taken out from her. It will not be that Mary's call is a perpetual call. It will not be taken away from her. That is a perpetual call. So all those sisters who have, who have a call of contemplation, it is a perpetual call. Perpetual call. Always we will have temptation. When I was preaching to Mother Teresa's contemplatives, I, I explained this. The contemplative call is a perpetual call that is the very important call for the whole church for evangelization. So that is why St. Therese of Lisieux is the patron saint of evangelization. A contemplative. And so one of the uh, MC sisters after that retreat came and told me Thomas Paul thank you that you have come I wanted to go away from this contemplative I wanted to go to some activities because I am not doing anything I am simply sitting and praying all those sisters are doing so many things people are appreciating and they are doing so many things but we are simply sitting and praying I said don't say that but now I realize I realized. So this is what important. We must, every diocese, definitely some of you might have been called to have this contemplative call. Among the priests, among the religious. So to start a perpetual adoration center, everybody consult with me. My first announcement is, what is First important is a priest who has that passion. One priest. That is important. One priest. And then all other things the Lord will arrange. Of course, this also is the arrangement of the Lord. And then, you see, our time is up. Last. In Acts of Apostle, 
Peter was in prison. Acts of Apostles chapter 10. No, chapter 12. Chapter 12. James was beheaded. Martyr. First martyr among the apostles. James was beheaded. Herod was happy. And then they arrested Peter to kill him. And Peter was kept in the prison. Word 5. Peter thus was being kept in the prison. And then what happened? They by the church, prayer by the church was fervently being made to God on his behalf. And now, on that very night, before Herod was to bring him to trial, Peter, secured by double chains, was sleeping between two soldiers. His hands were in chain between two soldiers. Suddenly the angel of the Lord stood in the prison. Suddenly the angel of the Lord stood by him and a light shone in the cell. He tapped Peter on the side. And awakened him, saying, tuck, tuck, Get up quickly. The chains fell from his wrists. The angel said to him, Put on your belt and your sandals. He did so. Then he said to him, Put on your cloak and follow me. So he followed him out, not realizing that what was happening through the angel was real. He thought he was seeing a vision. They passed the first guard, the second, and came to the iron gate, iron gate leading out to the city, which opened for him by itself. Do you realize it? Shall we all speak this loudly? The iron gate opened itself. I know you might have not gone to a prison, okay? I have gone several times. <laughs> not as a prisoner, but to give retreat to the prisoners. This iron gate of a prison, manually we cannot open. It has a machine to open. It is such a heavy gate. The iron gate of the prison opened itself. Why? Why? The church was praying. Now we must understand where is the church. And when he came out, he realized, hey, I am out. And then Peter, Peter, when Peter realized that, he went to the, then he went to the house of Mary. The mother of John, who is called Mark, our Mark, where there were many people gathered in prayer. That is what church was praying. Now you see the beauty here. Where there were many people gathered in prayer. When he knocked the gateway door, a maid named Rhoda came to answer it. She was so overjoyed when she recognized Peter's voice that instead of opening the gate she ran into the house announcing that Peter is standing. <laughs> they said to her, you are out of mind. But she insisted that it was what he kept saying. It is his, they kept saying it may be his angel. But Peter continued knocking and when they opened it, they saw him and were astounded. Now, my point is, here there are two names mentioned. One is the name of Pope Peter. 
the second name is a maid named Radha. I tell you, don't you have Radha in your place? Don't you have such maid servants available? This is very much in India, not in Europe, not in America. <laughs> Here, we have many Radhas, simple girls, maid servants, who will simply sit and pray. This Radha's prayer brought angels in the prison, delivered a pop from the chains, iron gates opened itself. This is the power of prayer of the ordinary simple people of our, 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 our area. This is the best, this is the very important point. I, the ladies with me, they identify themselves like Rodha. I tell them, you are the Rodha. We have many such Rodhas praying day and night. So the Pope, Pope need prayer. The bishop need prayer. The priest need prayer. Because the chains, there are chains. There are objections. Objections. How to free them? Not through any big fight, but through the prayer. The angels will deliver us. Let us stand up and thank and praise God and let us have this mind and let us ask the Lord, give us this type of a prayer apostolate for this diocese. Give us a prayer apostolate for the diocese for the congregations, to protect our priests and religious, to protect our bishops, and to make the iron gates open. Let us all pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh Lord, oh Lord, give us such prayer apostate. Give us such prayer apostate. Praying people, prayer apostolate to open the iron gates in this diocese to protect our bishop to protect our priest to protect our religious to protect our believers and open new new ways of evangelization hallelujah 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 come holy spirit anoint us Anoint us, open new ways, open the great powerhouse. Give us a powerhouse in this diocese of Chanda. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. My dear friends, surely this is the sure way to have a powerhouse with the 24 hours prayer, let us surrender this intention in the Holy Mass today. And also for every congregation, every mission station, every hospital, let it be a powerhouse of prayer, utilizing ordinary rodas, rodas. Thank you. God bless you. Now.